You'd rather call him Big Honey. Big honey. All right, we welcome you back to Studio J here in Atlanta. You talk about your game one stunner. The Philadelphia 76ers without Joel Embiid win in Boston 119 to 115 behind James Harden, who scored 45, matching his career playoff high, punctuated by this with under 20 seconds to go. They got the switch they wanted right there. Ernie, we talk about this every week. How stop, easy it is to play in the NBA today. Mm. With all this switching going on, it's ridiculous how easy it is to score the NBA today. A, a big man cannot guard a guard if he got any okay. talent whatsoever. Mm. Harden, 7 out of 14 from deep, 17 for 30 on the night, 45 points, 6 assists. And the Sixers take game one, 119 to 115. Jason Tatum had 39 for the Celtics in that loss. Jalen Brown had 23, uh, had 14 of those in the first quarter. He only took three shots in the last three quarters. He was six out of seven in the first, finished eight out of 10. And Boston, <laughs> That's funny, Jay. Hey. Yeah, well, in fairness, Jay Vegas, if you're going to dress like that, you better have that type of game. And he had that type of game, man. How stunned are you, Shaq? Because here were your pregame uh, Sixers points for success. 35 for James. He got that for you. And then some. 25-ish for Tyrese Maxey. He had 26. 20-ish for Tobias Harris. He had 18. Yeah, but it also. Dr. O'Neill. Thank you. Well done. Well, you know, not, not bad for a guy that has four championships. I do know what I'm talking about some of the time. But I knew after watching the great Steph Curry last night, I knew that James was going to have to have a big game because their big guy is out. He's the number two option. I knew he's going to have a, have a big game. I was only asking for 35, but he gave me 45. <laughs> and the other two, they stepped up. They play well, but this isn't about Billy. This is about the lack of focus with Boston. I said at halftime on today's episode of When You Mess Around, <laughs> this is what happens. There's no way without Joel Embiid, you're supposed to lose to this team ever, 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 ever. ever. In a they playoff. Messing around. They let James get going. They kept it close. What worries me is when you're a, a road team and you stay close, anything can happen in the fourth quarter. Like when I was watching the Sacramento game last night, I was like, you know what? Sacramento's playing pretty good, but Golden State's a little too close for me. And in that third quarter, you know, we all know what happens. Steph Curry goes crazy, but this is about Boston. You know, lack of focus, and hopefully this, this doesn't bite them. Now, all the stuff we talked about earlier, Joe can get a couple more days rest. And, yeah, and Joe's not stuff. playing next game. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, uh, no, not I, at all. if he played him, that'd be stupid. Um, it's interesting. You, you could tell. We talked about a halftime. Celtics didn't learn their lesson. You look at this here, man. They had 10 fouls for the whole game and shot 60%. That tells you two things. If you shoot 60%, you should win going away. But if you only commit 10 fouls in a game, you ain't playing no defense whatsoever. They were lackadaisical. And like I say, the other NBA players can play also, Ernie. And they messed around. Harden made all the big shots. But you got to respect your opponents. You know, you know, Shaq said they needed 80 points from three guys. I didn't know if James would be the, the big, big leader in that. They got 89 points from those three guys. Uh, but what we saw in the second half was a perimeter Boston Celtic team. Perimeter versus perimeter, they're better. First half, they were much more interior. So... Tough loss for uh, the Boston Celtics. Great win for Philly. And let us not forget what uh, Joel Embiid's replacement in this game, Paul Reed. B-ball Paul, four big free throws down the stretch. Philly takes game one. B-ball Denver.